Don't panic, 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 don't panic. Do not under any circumstances panic. Are you panicking? Good, because I'm panicking. I'm sorry, risk, strike back, penalty, ephemeral, don't know what it means and it's certainly not in my vocabulary. But is it possible to still be terrified? Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's the one and only Your Girl The Cartoon Hotspot and I'm back with a theory video because recently we got so many episode title releases and it's crazy because in September we barely had any content other than the episode Simple Man. Oh, and if you're wondering where my analysis video is on that episode, a long story short, but it's in the same place where episode 5 currently resides. Non-existent. Because that episode was not worth my time whatsoever. But I digress. We finally got the episode titles for episode 15, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24 and the last Attack of Shadow Moth 25 and 26. So that's exciting. Anyways, in this video, I'm just going to be talking about my predictions on what I think could possibly occur in these episodes. These theories are only going to be completely wild or accurate. There's no in between because we currently don't have any synopsis whatsoever. If you want to hear my thoughts, then don't go anywhere without giving this video a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. Hopefully you'll be sticking around for more theory videos by turning on that bell button for post notifications. Without further ado, let's begin. Let's start with Glaciator 2.0. Guys, it's been four freaking years since the original Glaciator episode. Did anyone else lose their absolute minds? I know for a fact, as soon as the title was revealed for episode 15, you could hear us Mary Chat shippers screaming at the top of our lungs. You know what? Confession. I was beginning to think there was no hope for Mary Chat. I mean, I made a whole video essay on why Mary Chat needs to happen in season 4, and I was beginning to think, okay, maybe I wasted my time and the writers hate me and want to take away all forms of happiness that I find within Mary Chat, my comfort ship. And before any of you say I'm getting my hopes up, because that's what Mary Chat shippers are shamelessly known for, getting the hopes up and then getting clowned, a brand ambassador of the show did say in an Instagram comment that this episode does have one of their favourite Mary Chat scenes. So I am super excited for that. And remember, this is directly before Haksan, which is before Rocketeer, which is before Wishmaker. Do you guys see where I'm heading with this? If Mary Chat is present in this episode, Glaciator 2.0, it means the reverse love square, something we've been waiting for forever, can finally be in action. And maybe after the Lady Noir argument that's highly anticipated, Cat Noir or better yet, Adrian will finally realise his buried feelings for his just a friend, Marinette. God damn it, Barb! As for why Andre gets re it's probably some dumb reason. Like the first time he got akumatized was so silly. Please tell me I'm not the only one who's thinking this. Why did he get upset because Marinette didn't want to eat his ice cream? Okay, yeah, she was a little bit mean, but that was only because he kept persisting for her to eat the ice cream. Like, she doesn't have to eat it if she doesn't want to, Andre. On to the next episode, episode 20, titled Killing. Now, to be honest, I have no clue what could possibly happen in this episode, but I did research what exactly killing means. A killing, as defined by Google, is a legendary Chinese mythological creature said to appear with the imminent arrival of an illustrious ruler. Again, head empty, no thoughts. But what did catch my eye was the fact that a killing is a symbol of good luck. I have no clue who's going to get akumatized, so we'll leave it there. But what I will say is there are still four more people awaiting to receive their miraculous. My bet is one of them is in Psychomedian. The other is in this episode, episode 20. Maybe one in Glaciator 2.0, although I highly doubt it, and maybe in episode 23 and or 24. Now the episode we're all waiting for, episode 22, Ephemeral, the 100th episode of the entire series, one that the writers are yelling at us to pay very close attention to. So it's huge. Like I said, that word is way out of my vocabulary, so I had to search up its meaning once again. Ephemeral means lasting a short amount of time. Hmm. In the context of Miraculous, that could literally mean anything. What I was thinking is Luca still has to fit into the picture. Luca. Second chance. Second chance, Viperian's powers, lasts for a short amount of time. 
what if this is the episode where Marinette finds out Luca knows she is Ladybug? Because they can't just throw that in Wishmaker with no follow-up whatsoever. Side note, I am genuinely worried the final six episodes are going to be completely rushed. That's my biggest concern. Like I said, there are still four more characters waiting to get the miraculous. We're still waiting for the Lady Noir argument, which I am sincerely begging the conflict between Ladybug and Cat Noir is properly fleshed out. Because we have all of this great setup, but if the execution isn't right, it'll be all for nothing. And then we need to fit Luca into the picture and the aftermath of Wishmaker in these episodes. So yeah, don't panic, but there's a lot. There are also a couple of theories that Shadow Moth might get a hold of a Miraculous, but I honestly doubt this and I'm going to leave that for the finale. Next, episode 23, Kuru Nico. Now, Kuru Nico sounds so, I don't know, majestic and mythical, I, I can't explain it. But once again, Kuru Nico translates to black cat in Japanese. Now, this might be far-fetched, but I immediately thought of Felix because, I'm sorry, this dude has been way too quiet in season 4. Way too quiet for my liking. Felix is probably one of the most intriguing characters and definitely has way more potential to be a villain than Lila. Yes, I said what I said. Lila for me has no setup, barely any depth for her, for me to regard her as a compelling antagonist. But Felix? He has a motive, which we have a rough idea on, but not so much a clear path. Whereas Lila, we have no clue what her motive is. We have no backstory. Anyways, the reason why I thought of Felix is because in the original concept of Miraculous Ladybug, the anime PV, Felix was intended to be the black cat wielder before they scrapped the idea and gave us our current Adrian Agrest. And as we know, and I've said this many times, nothing in Miraculous is discarded. Say it with me. Nothing in Miraculous is discarded. An old concept is bound to appear in one form or another, so I strongly believe Felix will appear in this episode. We might also perhaps get a little more on the aggressed backstory. As for what Felix could possibly be doing, no clue again. Episode 24 is Penalty, and if I'm being completely honest, I don't really have high nor low expectations. I can't possibly picture what's going to happen, but if you have any thoughts, feel free to comment them down below. Now as for the last attack of Shadow Moth, Risk and Strike Back, episodes 25 and 26. These are very intense episode titles to say the least. Remember a few months ago there was a spoiler that Shadow Moth will get his hands on the Miraculous, but it never specified which one. And we know Shadow Moth has established Ladybug never makes mistakes and is always cautious. So he creates a villain with the power to make people take risks. And Marinette may tell Adrian she's Ladybug because he's going off with Lila on a trip to London. And Adrian might stand up to his father and tell him he doesn't appreciate how Gabriel treats him as a marketing tool rather than his son. Yeah, there's a lot. It's just all jumbled up. But maybe Shadow Moth gets a hold of a very dangerous miraculous. Maybe Luca's miraculous, who knows? There's a possibility that Luca appears in this episode or episode 22 as stated before. And then episode 26, strike back. Here's my thoughts. You cannot strike back unless you lost in the first place or someone has the upper hand against you. What I'm saying is Ladybug and Cat Noir can't strike back unless they have a reason to. Otherwise, what exactly would they be striking back at? It doesn't make sense. What if Ladybug and Cat Noir obtain the Peacock Miraculous, hence why it's called the last attack of Shadow Moth? Not Hawk Moth, Shadow Moth. I left episode 9 and 21 for last because those are the only episodes we have a concrete synopsis on. Episode 9 is Gabriel Agrest, and someone finds out Shadow Moth's identity. Straight away I said, yep, it's Felix, it has to be. Which honestly would be the better scenario in my opinion and the more plot-filled narrative that opens up so many avenues to finally learning more on the Aggress. But then I thought, okay, Lila is the new face of the Aggress brand. We haven't seen Homegirl since season 3 and we only caught a glimpse of her for like a millisecond in Guilt Trip. She's going to be the one to find out Shadow Moth is Gable Aggress. Not sure what circumstances this will occur on, but I had an idea which I would love to see but it probably might not happen. Here's my idea. So at the start of the episode, Lila finds out Gabriel is Shadow Moth, somehow. Don't know how, don't care how. 
She questions Gabriel why he's a supervillain and then it's like a flashback episode. Similar to the episode Feast, but much more of an actual flashback rather than a two minute monologue of what went down. We get to see Emily aggressed, why she's in a coma, who she truly is, and maybe this episode might just confirm whether or not Adrian is a senti monster. Then Lila sort of blackmails Gabriel into making her the face of the aggressed brand in exchange for keeping his big secret. But... Can Gabriel truly trust Lila? No, and I'm here for it. And finally, episode 21, Dearest Family. Again, a strange name because every episode is named after the Akumatized villain, but this one isn't. I'm going to go straight into it. Marinette's parents will find out their daughter is Ladybug, point blank. Or at least that's my prediction. Like, how can Marinette possibly explain why Tiki had a sugar rush, apparently? and ends up using her powers of creation without a holder. Marinette telling her parents would be a good plot point from both a narrative perspective and a character development standpoint, because it will directly mirror the anticipated identity reveal between Hawk Moth and Adrian. We know Adrian and Marinette mirror each other. They are direct opposites. One is Ying, the other is Yang. Creation and destruction, good luck and misfortune. Supportive parents, terrible father. I could go on. Plus, I do think Marinette needs the emotional support that only her parents are capable of providing if they know she's Ladybug. I'm not saying Alia hasn't been great. She has. She's helped Marinette so much and lifted off a burden from her shoulders. But as I mentioned in a previous video, both Marinette and Alia are beginning to struggle. Also, Marinette mentions in Rocketeer that she's barely had any time to hang out with her family. And I might be overanalyzing, but when am I never overanalyzing? I just think they wouldn't have mentioned that without any sort of follow-up. The entire season has told us that Marinette doesn't do good when she has to lie, a thing that she detests. When she's isolated and alone, it's not good for her. To be honest, I can picture Marinette telling Sabine she's Ladybug rather than Tom. It's either probably going to be one of them, she tells Sabine, or both of them. Time to shamelessly promote myself. But I actually wrote a fan fiction based on this idea that Marinette might reveal to her parents that she's Ladybug. It's been posted on Archive of Our Own, AO3, so a link will be left in the description box below if any of you are interested to read and leave kudos. Anyways, that was my thoughts and theories on these upcoming episodes. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm super excited for all of these episode releases and I'll make sure to keep you posted on what's airing first because it can be difficult to keep up since they're just bombarding us with a ton of content. November is going to be a miraculous month. But now I want to put it to you guys. What are your thoughts and theories? Comment down your theories and I'll be sure to respond. As for today, that's it from me and I'll see you again next time. Bye!